Welcome to Always Moving Forward with Renee. I'm moving, moving forward. Good morning and welcome to Always Moving Forward with Renee. As always, we are glad you invited us into your home. I trust that each and every one of you had a great week. This is the day that the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Happy Sunday to all. I am Renee Ross Bowers, and my friends, my co-hosts, none other than Jackie Duncan, Noni G, and Lenore Johnson. Deuteronomy, first chapter, 23rd verse. Choose your tribes wise, understanding and experiencing men, and I will appoint them as your heads. Today we have a special topic, something everyone should know about. But a few of us are lacking the knowledge of this special topic. Martin Luther King said it best, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. Take a few minutes. Viewers, I want you to get up right now and grab a pen and get some paper because what you are going to hear today can change your life and the lives of your family and friends. And this is just a reminder our show is pre-recorded and shown on Sundays at 11.30 a.m., Comcast Channel 20. If you miss the show, you can always watch it on your cell phone or computer by going to BGN TV Gospel and search for Always Moving Forward. Let me give a shout out to Antoine Bell, CEO of Global Network. He is the one who made it possible for us to visit with you each and every Sunday. But I must not forget our sponsor, Speed Flow Investment Club, where you can invest a small amount of only $20 and become financially free. You can contact Speedflow at 313-282-4455. Tell them you heard it on Always Moving Forward. If you like to have prayer or just want to let us know that you watched our show, you can call or text to 313-657-5556. Or email us at G W E A L T H S one 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 at gmail dot com. Remember, we love to hear from you. Am I right, ladies? Absolutely. Absolutely. We had two special guests today. Both are very, very knowledgeable about the topic that we're going to have today. But with regrets, one had to cancel. He is an attorney and he had to be in court. And like my husband said, if the judge calls, you've got to be there. <laughs> That's right. But our very own friend, Noni G, agreed to fill in for him. Our special guest today, my husband and I, we've known her for several years. But there's someone else here at the table who knows her better, much better. So Lenore, will you introduce today's Sunday's co-host? Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Good today afternoon. our special guest is Ebony Teague. Uh, Ebony has a master's degree in business administration with a major in accounting. She currently serves as a precinct delegate a precinct delegate are elected directly by voters to serve as a bridge between voters and the democratic organization. They represent their neighborhood 
at Democratic Party meetings. Ebony has worked closely with various grassroots groups to help get out the vote. And she is also my beautiful, awesome niece. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yes. Ebony. Thank you, Auntie Norm, for that. Welcome. My name is Ebony T. Nice to meet you all. Thank you for having me. Um, I currently work or serve as a precinct delegate. We act as a liaison between the community and the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. And basically our role is to help our neighbors get out the vote, um, give them information regarding what's going on in the party, and also if they need education on the candidates that's running. So to help them push them out to vote, it's very important to vote in the primary election as well as the general election, as you guys very well know. So, Okay. Thank you for having me once again. Okay, well, we're glad that you took the time out of your schedule because yes. I know you're busy. Yes, yes. <laughs> she is so busy she is. that she left her cell phone on her <laughs> desk. Yes. She is that busy, yes. ripping and running. Yes. But, you know, audience, viewers, this is what we need to know about. It's very, very, very important. We need to know how when, where, and the importance of voting. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Okay. But you know what? Michelle Obama said, it's more important than ever that we show up to vote. Mm -hmm. Not just this year, mm -hmm. but every year. Yes. And in every election, every voice, all of our voices must be heard and every vote, it's important, it must be counted. Mm -hmm. So Jackie, I know you have a question for Ebony here. Mm -hmm. okay, um, okay, so I know that you're helping the people, registering them to vote. Yes ma'am. Is there a particular form that they use or they have to um, fill out when, they, when you register them? Absolutely. Um, there is a voter registration application, which I did print out a sample here. You can print it out um, on the website, go to Secretary of State, or if you want to know more information about where you need to vote, what is your precinct, um, maybe what are the issues that's going to be on the ballot, possibly what candidates are running and what positions, you can find that information at www michigan.gov forward slash vote. You can also download the voters registration application from the Secretary of State website. So it's available online. Now you can't vote online, but the form is available for them to fill out. Okay, so now do you go around to schools to also register the students or you go into the community? We go into the community, we typically hold get out the vote rallies or just plain old meetings just to let people know, educate them on who's running, what are some of the issues, uh, why it's important to get out and vote, um, some of the things you may need to go vote. You must be registered at least 30 days prior to the election cycle, um, must be 18 years or older to register. Uh, if you, Most people who have uh, filled out for a state ID or Michigan driver's license, they automatically have probably been asked, do you want to register to vote? Uh, for those who may have questions, maybe they didn't register to vote or don't even know if they're registered to vote, those are always questions that come up. Uh, oftentimes people register to vote, but they may not vote in a particular election cycle, or they may have moved and they say, oh, I don't know if I'm still eligible to vote. Then we're able to give them that information. Again, like I said, they can go on line, uh, type in their zip code. Now it's important that they make sure that they stay current when it's, you know, that their registration is current. So if they move, they must go and re-register in a different precinct when it comes time to vote. So, wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, Lenore, I know you have a question for her. Yes, um, Ebony, why is it important to vote? It's very important to vote on so many different levels. Um, our current government system is, you know, we the citizens, we elect who runs our government system. So 
Um, it's very important to vote. Our livelihood, health care, um, the way our government operates is all predicated on if we vote or not. We put the people in office who governs our government, and so they make decisions on our behalf. So it's important for us to get to know who these people are, who is running, so we can have a voice and have a decision on how we want our government to be ran. We hear, you know, people get outraged when certain programs are cut or funding is cut, and they say, oh, wow, you know, we get these people in office, and the first question I ask, well, did you vote? And if they didn't vote, then, hey, you're not part of the conversation because you didn't take the time to be heard in your vote. So it is very, very, very important to vote. Okay, so it's really imp important. And audience, please, I cannot stress, you need to get paper and pencil so you can write this down because you're going to get some very important information here. But you know what, Noni, I want to go back to, you know, the beginning because when I started voting, no one told me what to do. You know, no really? one told me what to do. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's right. That's I just went down and registered, mm -hmm. and then, you know, you go vote. Mm -hmm. I got there. People gave me a little sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. I didn't know who to vote for. You know, I didn't know. But, okay, the first thing you do, you need to register with this application. Am I correct? You are correct, Renee. The very first thing you want to do once you decide that you're going to vote, you must be 18 years or older. You must be a resident of Michigan, and you must be a U.S. citizen. Once you do that, you can go to the, um, the city clerk's office on 2978 West Grand Boulevard. You can go to any Secretary of State office and register up until um, July the 9th, which is the last day for registering in our, gen um, in our primary coming up uh, in August, August the 7th. And we also have a uh, general election coming up on uh, November the 9th. November the 6th. Oh, I'm sorry. November the 6th. Mm -hmm. November the 6th. Yes. Now, okay, tell me this, Jackie. Once, not Jackie, I'm sorry. No, 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 Just come on. <laughs> okay, I got two faces. All right. <laughs> okay, tell me this. Okay, once I registered to vote, then, um, I go and find out who's running for office, and where can I find this information out other than the mailers that are sent to the home? Is there somewhere where I can go and find out, you know, who's running for A, B, C, you know, whatever you, office? Now, you can go to the, uh, the League of Women's Voters. They have the calendar date of the votes and who is voting. They don't support or deny either one. They don't go which way, but they put the information out there as far as the candidates. Okay, so you can go online to yes, the... Yes, you can okay. go online to the League of Women's Voters. Okay. The city clerk will have that information as well. Okay, the city clerk has that. So right. once I find out who's voting and make my decision who I'm going to vote for, then on I go to the primary... Mm -hmm. And the primary, I'm going to uh, select my person. Now, when you go in, do you have to have a voter's registration card? Or what do you show the people? You just walk up there or what? Mm -hmm. Well, you want to have your ID with you because they're going to ask for your ID. And you want to make sure that that is, that is the correct spot that you are supposed to vote. Okay. Um, and then they will have all of the information that you need. You fill out your ballot form, you show them your ID, they're going to verify your address, and that that is your current voter precinct. Okay, now if I could just back up for a minute. Uh, you said make sure that's where I'm supposed to vote. Yes. Now when I go down to register, will they tell me where my voting yes. poll is? You'll get a card in the mail. Oh, okay. And your card will have your precinct number in the location that your poll site is located at. Okay, so the and the identification you were saying, saying show them my driver's license yeah. or, or state ID, state ID yeah. something I have to show. You have something to yeah. add? Uh, well, when you go register to vote, they look your address up to see if you're in the right precinct. Mm -hmm. Okay, but also 
the question is, you say you have to be 18 to register. I thought you could be 17 to register, but you have to turn 18 before the day of the election. election. Okay, which is the difference because you wouldn't be going into the school because everybody in the school is not 18, but you can register those 17 year olds as long as they Gonna okay. have as, long a eight, as long as they turn 18 before the election. Okay, so you hear that, young people. 17, you can go and register, register to vote right now. But before you walk into that voting booth, you must be 18. Must be 18. Am I correct? You correct. must be 18. And you have to have the identification to show that you are of age to vote. Am I right? Right. Okay. But you also now, you can also go to the state of Michigan and on to the Secretary of State when they have reg voters registration information, you can put your address in and they'll tell you what, if you change the move, they'll tell you what uh, your voting area is. Yes, that's the uh, website I gave out earlier. Uh, you can go to www.michigan.gov forward slash vote. You can also uh, go to the Secretary of State website, pull down the um, State of Michigan voter registration application. You'll be able, at once you go to that particular site, you the information that you'll find, anything you need about registering to vote, uh, polling locations, uh, information about the ballots, and so much more. Okay, now I just have another question and I'm gonna let someone else ask one. But, okay, now, I'm in the booth voting. They give me the sheet of paper or whatever, the, the ballot. ballot. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and I'm just calling it what someone out there may call it, okay. you know, but they give you, we're gonna call it ballot because they corrected me. That's what it uh, is. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna, uh, they give me the ba ballot. If I make a mistake on my ballot, can I erase it or what, what happens? No, you can't erase it. They don't have no erasers in the booth. I got one in my purse. You have now, can they, I got one in my no. purse. Now, can no you model. erase on it? No. Now, that's, that's the question I'm asking. No, no. you cannot Okay, erase. so since you can't erase, then what happens? I go and tell them, they give me a whole new they one. Give you talk me through one. it now, talk me through it. Because it's a whole lot of people out there that need to know. Absolutely. They Absolutely. have not voted and they don't, right. we can't assume. Right. Now, you right. know, viewers, I do not assume. <laughs> I get to it. So talk us through this. I make a mistake. What happened? Well, you have when you go in to vote, make sure you take your time, make sure you read each question, uh, and make sure you understand it. If you make a mistake on your ballot, you're going to spoil your ballot, mm -hmm. and it won't properly re uh, read through the um, voter equipment. So what happens is you have to go through that initial process again with filling out another form, and then they will reissue you a new ballot okay so they'll okay give me a new ballot there okay so viewers I'm gonna let someone else ask a question because I have a lot of questions that I want to hey, ask you know I'm talking about those there. who are 17 yes. but I'm gonna take it all the way to the seniors because mm -hmm. right. you know I know we out there <laughs> I know we out there but again viewers remember if you are in the need of prayer or you just want to contact us let us hear from you. Call 313-657-5556 or email us at gwealths111 at gmail.com. So Jackie, I'm going to let you go on and ask a question. Uh -huh. I know that when you register people up, one of the things they say is, oh, my vote, vote don't count. Do y'all tell them why their vote is so important? I always do. Ebony, you of don't? Of course. Okay, so why is their vote so important? Why is it important that they register to vote and vote? It's, again, as we, we talked about earlier, it's so important to vote and, you know, I know we have such a short period of time, so I won't go all into history of, you know, why we all should get out and vote. Um, so many people has fought for us to have rights to vote, so that's number one. Uh, number two, you want to have a voice in your community. You want to have a voice with the pe a voice of who you're putting in office, who are making laws and decisions on my behalf. I want to know, you know, 
who I'm voting for. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to have a voice. I want to have an opinion. Now, right. oftentimes, you know, we vote, and sometimes the person that we voted for may not make it, but it shouldn't discourage you for not okay. exercising your right to vote. What are some of those positions that people are in that we are voting? Um, what career or position do they have? Uh, current, so this upcoming election cycle, we are um, going to vote for U.S. Senate, uh, U.S. House, Congressional. Uh, we're going to vote a new governor in. Um, we are the primary election. We're voting um, people to represent our party. For example, so we have three candidates that's running for governor that will, we're going to vote for a candidate to represent the Democratic Party. Uh, for the general election in November. And so the primary election is so important because as we, as Democrats, we want to turn our house back blue. We want to have more Democrats to have a say um, when, you know, we're making major decisions. So we're going to vote for municipal, local judges. That's going to be on the ballot. Judges um, are very important. Yes, uh, attorney general. We're going to vote for a new secretary of state. So it's important during, to vote during the primary so we can have some what democratic representation. Do we vote for prosecutors? Municipal is there. Yeah. Uh, school board elections is coming up in November. So um, yeah, and there are also going to be some ballot issues on uh, this upcoming election too. So that's why it's important to vote. Okay. Wow. So, uh, yeah, we got a lot, but the ballots, now that's very important. Because now the way that they write ballots up, you really should read them before you actually vote on them because they don't write them clear like they used to. Okay, so how would they find out about what ballots are going to be on, uh, what proposals are going to be on the ballots? They could check with the city clerk, go on to uh, the website, Secretary of State website. Uh, they can actually go down to the city clerk office and get a sample ballot to uh, look at the ballot. It's going to be quite, it's going to be long. We, we are electing new congressional people um, as well. So, you know, that list can get pretty long. I you know there's a lot of people running in the different uh, congressional the district. Clerk office? Uh, I heard someone give the address 2978 West Grand Boulevard. Boulevard. Right. Yes. The election commission or the... The election commission is on the boulevard? Yes. yes. With Mr. Daniel Baxter is running that. <laughs> <laughs> and Ms. Carol Aldrich, who, if, you, if anyone is out there and interested in working at the polls, they can contact Mr. Baxter and Carol Aldrich. And also, before we... Um, it, they still have time to... They still have time if oh. they do it right away. Okay. But also, I just want to throw in about the absentee ballot voters uh, yes. for those who are disabled or not going to be in town and they'd like to get an absentee ballot they can go to the city clerk's office they can call them and have one sent out but it's important that you get your absentee ballot if you're planning on voting in the uh, primary on august the 7th and also on october the 6th and also remember july the 9th is the last day to register for the august primary and that's the last date you can register. And the last date for the, um, the general election in uh, November is... Um, October the 9th. October the 9th, okay. Mm -hmm. so, so why is it important to vote for the primary in the primary election? Well, as we stated before, we, we just had that whole full dialogue. It's very important because of the people that we, we want the right representation to represent us in the general election uh, in November. Do and we? that would determine, so we we get out in the primary, we elect the right candidate, uh, that would, and hopefully we can turn some of the house back blue in November. And we want to support those people that we feel are going to be doing the job for us in the community. Because at this time, a lot of people coming out, they're talking about what they're going to do, but we need to make sure that we have a dialogue with them and I know our church, uh, Chapel Hill Missionary Baptist Church, is having a Meet the Candidates, uh, I think it's uh, July the 16th. And the community is welcome to come 
and hear the candidates ask questions and get to know the candidates better before you give them the vote. Because talk is cheap, but we want someone that's going to actually take some action in our community, someone who's going to do what he, say, uh, he or she say they're going to do. So this is why we're, getting, we're trying to urge our community to get out and vote because there's so many issues that concern us, you know. So please get out and vote and please go online and register, call the city clerk's office, do what you need to do to get yourself registered because believe me, your vote does count. Okay, now, Lenore, I know you have a question. Uh, honestly, Minay, what? every question I had, they asked. Then, then yes. Uh, uh, Jackie over there tripled up. <laughs> so, you know. but, but you know what? I do have a statement. And, and this is so important, you know, voting. Because what happened? Our forefathers died for us That's to get husband. out yes. and vote. Yes. Yes. You know, and so many people complain. Yes about who is elected to office. Mm -hmm. Right. They always complain. Right. But when I ask them if they voted, they say no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I want everyone to remember, if you don't vote, you lose the right, right to complain. Right. Absolutely. What are you yes. complaining yes. about? Right. You didn't get out Absolutely. to make a difference. Absolutely. You know, so you, did, you didn't do that. But this is so important. I think we're going to have to come back and do a part two. Let me ask my husband. What do you think? Part two? You're the boss. Okay, he said I'm the boss. So we're going to have a part two on voting. But I must say again, if you have any questions or if you have a topic that you want to hear, please call us at 313-657. 5556 or email us and you can text us at that number as well but email us at g w e a l t h s 111 at gmail.com and i want you to remember to always always keep moving forward and let me just ask can you come back and do a part two Sure. Yes. Okay, yes. ladies, yes. we're going to do a part two. Yes. Okay, but I want you to remember, God loves you, and so do we. That's right. God bless. So God bless. until God bless. part two next week, have a good one. God bless. God bless. Okay. You enjoy always moving forward with Renee. Moving, moving Everybody, this is your girl Vicky Winans, and you're watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D. Hattie watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching Bell Global. Hi, everybody. I'm telling you, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times, and you are watching Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Clifton Davis, and you're watching Bell Global Network.